Hey, Geeks, Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com taking a look today at Image Burn. It is a CD, DVD, Blu-ray burning app primarily geared towards reading and writing image files, for example, ISO. Major Geeks has the clean, no open candy version. We're the only ones who have it. We requested it from the author, so you want to get this from Major Geeks. Here's your interface. As we were going to say, it's very simple to use, and it's designed out of the box that way. You can come here to Mode or you can come here so if you start over here and you need to get back just go back to easy mode picker here so under your mode as you can see you can read which will read a disk to an image file you can build which allow you to create an image file you can write which will let you write that image file to a disk verify which you might not use too much to make sure a disk is completely readable as well as long as we're here compare it against an image file and of course you have discovery which will use DVD Info Pro and check the quality of your burns from your drive because if you have problems with speed for example you might want to do that so let's take a quick look again we're just gonna do a little summary here there is burn mode is that where I'm at? Uh, read mode let's go to read no let's go back to easy mode picker here we go write an image file to disk so we'll load it here by clicking the folder you can view the queue at any time and line your mouse over and take a look around you see you can create a queue file view your image file information you can eject display graph data and write speed so as we just mentioned if you're having trouble you can come in here and change the speed a couple other things here including advanced settings again you shouldn't need to do them it's a lot of focus on making sure that it's ready for everybody to use when you're ready you just click here and it will burn it for you. So let's go back to Easy Mode Picker. Write files to a folder or disk. This is handy for files, folders, if you wanted to burn an audio CD. So here's one. We use the shift arrow, hit enter. And as you can see, it tells you automatically what your percentage is, the type of media required. It figures all of this out. And it'll also tell you device information, a handful of small options you might want to play with labels if you want to change the volume label of the DVD CD and of course some basic advanced stuff including creating dates etc etc so you can as you look through go well I don't want that in there so you can click the X or I don't want anything in there click the little recycle bin looking sucker here and there you go so let's go back to mode easy picker and again it's pretty simple create an image file from disk it's the exact same thing that we're looking at before you'd have to have your source and we'll go back to easy picker mode create an image from files or folders same thing we just showed you a minute ago verify verify against an image file or not I believe it's unchecked by default and discovery which again as we mentioned will let you test with DVD Info Pro to see how your builds are. You can do all your sectors, narrow down sectors. And again, just look around at some of the little icons. You can see they repeat. It's very, very neat, very well laid out. So back to easy mode picker. So that covers pretty much the basics of everything the program can do right there. I don't think it gets much easier. However, if you want to play around, we can go into tools. Tools will have create a Q file, create a DVD file, change a volume label, basic stuff but the settings where it gets pretty advanced page one page two of the general you might want to use a couple of things here don't show the status bar messages minimize the tray etc real basic stuff again I wouldn't play with any of this stuff unless you're going to burn something you're like oh I had a problem then you might want to play with it otherwise you could consider the registry settings which actually lets you manage your shell extensions and it lets you manage your file associations with all none or all and make a few decisions yourself so simple as that I, I, I'll look through this real quick just to give you an idea if you don't know what this stuff is and if you're watching this and you know what all this stuff is hey I don't know what all of it is that's fine it's really geeky and you'll know if you have a problem if you need to come in and change any of these settings specifically while you're in here in for example writing over here is the advanced settings so as you can see you can find a few different settings right here same repeats with now let's start here is that got one too 
So basically, you can find the same things where you need them. So let's go and go back where we were. Read, build, write. There you go. So you find a few of these settings in here that may help you if you're having problems. Beyond that, you probably won't find yourself running around in the settings here too awful much. But again, if you you want to browse through it, you can. We are over five minutes in this video, and I haven't scratched the surface of the settings. That's why we're not doing it. I like to meet my five-minute rule, and that is gone. And I'm not done. One more thing. Help. This is important, too. I just want to make sure you understand where you can go. Go to the View Image Birds Guide. It will open up your web browser, take you to their form, and just to give you a general idea, you're going to go right here to the Image Burden Functions or the Image Burden Settings. Well, wait do you see this. So there's your stuff we just showed you. And watch the right side and how long it's going to take to scroll. Holy cow. So let's scroll back up. If you were looking at some settings, let's say you're looking at some of the right settings, you don't know how to do it, come here, click the right it will scroll on down for you and it will break down for you as you can see the right modes the right types the incrementals so on and so forth so that's where you want to be if you need help unless you want me to do a 60 minute video and frankly uh, I'm in six minutes now and I'm sick of listening to myself so yeah buddy all right so that's pretty much the basics to get you started on image burn if you're looking at it going what do I do just remember it's right here in a nice pretty picture for you and it's described a little bit differently, but exactly the same under mode. So even though this says write, write, create, mode explains, read, build, write, verify, discovery. That gets you there, gets you started. I hope it helps some of you guys who are newbies to image burn. And uh, any questions, ask them below. I'll answer what I can or somebody else will. Stop into their forums through the help if you need help. And we hope we helped you out. We hope you can take a second to subscribe. And as always, we thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.